Today we're taking you on a day trip to Sopot, a town whose name we hadn't heard before visiting Gdansk. Sopot is a beautiful seaside town that sits on the shores of the Baltic Sea, and it proved to be the perfect little day trip. Come join us as we explore the town, take a boat tour of the harbor, and find out what makes its destination a summer hotspot. Tickets in hand! Right, that was super easy, we got our tickets, they were only 380 zloty. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, that's less than a euro, so we are not spending much to get there. We're ready for a day trip and our train is pulling into the station yeah, right time. now! Good timing. We have made it to Sopot. We've made it, we've made it. And I think the main attraction here is the pier. Isn't, uh -huh. it, the, isn't it the largest in Northern the Europe? The largest or? wooden pier in all of Europe. Wow, so let's go check that out. That's the main thing we're gonna do here. Yeah. and we actually had to buy tickets you have to pay to go walk on the pier which I didn't realize you had to do so it's eight zloty per person got our tickets let's go at 511.5 meters this is the longest wooden pier in all of Europe and it's the one attraction you can't miss when you visit Sopot and look here there are swans at the beach oh my gosh it is a beautiful beach day! The sun is out, blue skies, we can hear seagulls squawking off in the distance. It's just nice to be at the beach. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the last time I went to the beach. It's been too long. All right, update from Soput. We came here thinking maybe we'll spend a couple of hours, maybe yeah. half a day, but we're really liking it here. Really so liking I think it. this is gonna be a full day excursion. Yeah, so instead of just putting this in the Gdansk city guide, this is gonna be its, it's own vlog. Own vlog, as you well as you would know already, because you would be watching the vlog. But anyway, <laughs> we made a decision at this moment, just so you know. We like it. So Sam found us a pirate ship. A proper pirate boat. How excited are you for? I'm very excited Being to go on pirate. pirate boats. Apparently, when uh, some, some people on my dad's side of the family were researching the history, oh my there gosh. is some there is some pirate background. So <laughs> I feel like I just need an eye patch and I'd fit right in. That means we are ready to set sail. So we made it on the boat, like barely. It was leaving within five minutes of us buying the tickets. You know, if we hadn't got on that boat, we would have had to wait another hour. Yeah. So we're going to be doing a 40 minute cruise of the harbor aboard a pirate ship. How cool yeah. is that? And we were really lucky we got on the very first one. Like yeah. That. It's leaving at 10 uh -huh. and we only had like five minutes to get on. So yeah. the next one wasn't going to be till 11 so we would have had to wait a whole hour. So we feel really lucky to have got on this one. And how much was it? Was it 35 slotty? Yes, 35 each. Yeah, 35 each. And yeah, this is going to be awesome. We have such nice weather so I can't wait to just see where this boat takes us. So today is a really nice day to be out on the water. I don't know if you can see this, but the waters are so calm. It, it looks, looks like, like glass, yeah, like, like a like mirror. A glass, like almost like a mirror. No waves. I know, this is just, we couldn't have passed for a better day, seriously. All right, so we just got off the pirate ship, but check it out. You can actually go on catamarans. I know. These are fancy. This would be a little bit of a step up, but <laughs> for sure. But yeah, we enjoyed that pirate ship ride. That was really cool. Yeah. And now we're gonna explore a little bit more of the pier. And then we've heard rumors of fish pierogi. So yeah, we that. are hungry. So it's time for food soon. That's, hi that's high up on our radar. So we 
have good news and bad news. The bad news is that the restaurant we had read about online doesn't have fish pierogi. We found it, but they don't have it on the menu. So maybe they used to at one point, but they don't right now. Yeah. The good news is that they do have big pierogi and we've been wanting to try those for a while. So we've yeah. ordered a whole bunch of like savory ones and sweet ones and we also have soup coming and, and salad. Salads. So it's going to be a really good meal. And what are you starting off with here to drink? Tea. I got some mint too. Look, they put some mint here in the little teapot. How, How cute. cute. How cute. How cute. So yeah. So hungry. I'm so ready for the food to arrive. Right. Well, the wait's over. Oh, the joy. Oh my gosh. That took a while and I was starting to get a little bit hangry. But the food is finally here. So let's start with the beetroot soup. I ordered the one that comes with dumplings, but you can just get the plain broth. So let's try that. Ooh, is it nice? That's good. It's hot, isn't it? It's not yeah. a good one? Okay. We've seen a creamy version of the beetroot soup, but we have no idea what it's called. We don't know how to order it, so every time we get beetroot... Uh. <laughs> There's a traffic jam. Anyways, the soup is good, but check this out. Like, the star of the meal are the yeah. pierogi. Go, go in and dig in and have one. Yeah? Right now. Yeah. So these are the spinach ones. Yes. I think we got spinach these are with the, like sun-dried tomatoes. And these are the big ones, of course. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? These are meat ones. Oh. I'll eat them anyway. There must Doesn't be a bit matter. of spinach inside, but... No. No? That's <laughs> beef, I think. Whoops. But it's still good. No complaints. I'm so hungry right now, I'll eat whatever they put in front of me. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's good. Alright, so the only other things to try here are the salad. Yeah. And then we also have the dessert pierogies. I think the, the dessert pierogies will have cottage cheese and, and something peach. else. Oh, wow. Hmm. How's the salad? It's good. It's just a very simple salad. It's got lettuce and tomatoes and a little bit of onion. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I just wanted <laughs> I wanted to get some some vegetables in with the uh, in with the meal. But so. really, we're here. Yeah. For this. Oh my gosh. OMG. Whoa. OMG. Look at that. Look at that. It looks great. It looks wonderful. Are you going to dip it in? Yep. I wonder what that is. Like a yogurt sauce maybe? Could be. I have no idea. It's it, The consistency seems like a yogurt or a cream sauce. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so looking forward to dessert. Oh my gosh. Well, you got to try this. This is just yeah? amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so so good. Okay, so we we're gonna get this. we're gonna get back to the savory stuff in a second, but oh my gosh. I just that. couldn't resist. I just couldn't resist. I should probably be using some kind of cutlery. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? I don't know. That's yeah. really nice. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice surprise. Mm, this those, was a wonderful those, meal. Those are by far the best desserts pierogi you've ever had. You tried some dessert yeah. ones before? Some very simple ones. Mm -hmm. These oh these are gosh, decadent. Sure. These are these are very <laughs> good. So we somehow stumble on a bodybuilding competition and everyone looks super tan. All right, so first a bodybuilding competition and now a market. Yeah, now the market. And the market looks so different from when we first arrived. When we arrived in the morning, it's yeah. just getting set up. There's nobody here. And now it's just like a bustling hive of activity. As you may have noticed, there were more people sunbathing than there were people swimming. And that's because the Baltic Sea is best described as refreshing. Well, well, that was a very busy outing, and I think the verdict is we both loved Sopot. Like, it turned out to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot cooler than we anticipated. We were mm -hmm. just planning on coming for a few hours, ended up spending the whole day. Yeah. And I'm glad we came early in the morning because we kind of beat the crowds for a little while. 
but then we got to see what it looks like on a packed summer day like this is the middle of mm -hmm. July but anyways in terms of visiting I think that uh, it's not a bad idea to do it as a day trip because it is an expensive yes. destination it is lunch was a little pricey when we were looking at accommodations it was definitely more expensive in the city so yeah it's more expensive than Gdansk and Gdansk is already more expensive than the rest of Poland so I mean if you have money to spend yeah sure come here they have beautiful yeah. hotels on the beach and everything but yeah as a day trip you can definitely enjoy yeah. and see the main site yeah you can do everything that you could do if you were staying here so yeah yeah consider it as a day trip and yeah I guess that's it we're taking the train back and we're really glad that we came bye ciao